Heparin is an anticoagulant indicated for thromboprophylaxis and to treat thrombosis associated with a variety of conditions such as pulmonary embolism and atrial fibrillation. In this video, let's find found. What is heparin? What is heparin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking heparin? How does heparin work? How to use heparin? What is heparin? Heparin, also known as unfractionated heparin, is a medication and naturally occurring glycosaminoglycan. Since heparins depend on the activity of antithrombin, they are considered anticoagulants. Specifically, it is also used in the treatment of heart attacks and unstable angina. The discovery of heparin was announced in 1916. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. A fractionated version of heparin, known as low molecular weight heparin, is also available. What is heparin used for? Unfractionated heparin is indicated for prophylaxis and treatment of venous thrombosis and its extension, prevention of postoperative deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism and prevention of clotting in arterial and cardiac surgery. In cardiology, it is used to prevent EMS in patients with atrial fibrillation and as an adjunct antithrombin therapy in patients with unstable angina and or non-Q-wave myocardial infarctions, i.e. non-ST elevated acute coronary artery syndrome, who are on platelet glycoprotein, IIB-3A, receptor inhibitors. Additionally, it is used to providing during dialysis and surgical procedures maintain the patency of intravenous injection devices and prevent in vitro coagulation of blood transfusions and in blood samples drawn for laboratory values. Contraindication Heparin is contraindicated in those with risk of bleeding, especially in people with uncontrolled blood pressure, liver disease, and stroke, severe liver disease, or severe hypertension. Side Effects Abdominal or stomach pain or swelling. Back pain or backaches. Bleeding from the gums when brushing teeth. Blood in the urine. Constipation. Coughing up blood. Headaches, severe or continuing. Heavy bleeding or oozing from cuts or wounds. Pharmacodynamic. Unfractionated heparin is a highly acidic mucopolysaccharide formed of equal parts of sulfated D-glucosamine and d acid with sulfaminic bridges. The molecular weight ranges from 300 to 30,000 daltons. Heparin is obtained from liver, lung, masts, and other cells of vertebrates. Heparin is a well-known and commonly used anticoagulant which has antithrombotic properties. Heparin inhibits reactions that lead to the clotting of blood and the formation of fibrin clots both in vitro and in vivo. Small amounts of heparin in combination with antithrombin 3, a heparin actor, can inhibit thrombosis by inactivating factor XA and thrombin. Once active thrombosis has developed, larger amounts of heparin can inhibit further coagulation by inactivating thrombin and preventing the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin. Heparin also prevents the formation of a stable fibrin clot by inhibiting the activation of the fibrin stabilizing factor. Heparin prolongs several coagulation tests. Of all the coagulation tests, activated partial prothrombin time, APTT, is the most clinically important value. Mechanism of action. Under normal circumstances, antithrombin 3, ATIAI, inactivates thrombin, factor IIA, and factor XA. This process occurs at a slow rate. Administered heparin binds reversibly to ATIAI and leads to almost instantaneous inaction of factors IIA and XA. The heparin ATIAI complex can also inactivate factors 9, 11, 12, and plasmin. The mechanism of action of heparin is ATIAI dependent. It acts mainly by accelerating the rate of the neutralization of certain activated coagulation factors by ambin but other mechanisms may also be involved. The antithrombotic effect of heparin is well correlated to the inhibition of factor XA. Heparin is not a thrombolytic or fibrinolytic. It prevents progression of existing clots by inhibiting further clotting. The lysis of existing clots relies on endogenous thrombolytic. Half-life. The plasma half-life is dose-dependent, and it ranges from 0.5 to 2H. 
For the purpose of choosing a protamine dose, heparin can be assumed to have a half-life of about 30 minutes after intravenous injection. Dose DDT and PE Prophylaxis 5,000 units SCQ 8-12 HR, or 7,500 units SCQ 12 HR Treatment 80 units slash KG4 bolus, then continuation of 18 units slash KG slash HR, or 5,000 units 4 bolus, then continuous infusion of 1,300 units slash HR, or 250 units slash KG, alternatively, 17,500 units SC, then 250 units slash KGQ12 HR. Acute coronary syndromes. PCI. Without GPIIB slash 3A inhibitor, initial 4 bolus of 70 to 100 units slash KG, target ACT 250 to 300 seconds. With GPIIB slash 3A inhibitor, initial 4 bolus of 50 to 70 units slash KG, target ACT greater than 200 seconds. STEMI. Patient on fibrinolytics, 4 bolus of 60 units slash KG, max. 4,000 units, then 12 units slash KG slash HR, 1,000 units slash HR, as continuous for infusion. Dose should be adjusted to maintain APTT of 50 to 70 seconds. Unstable angina slash steamy. Initial 4 bolus of 60 to 70 units slash KG, max, 5,000 units, then initial fusion of 12 to 15 units slash KG slash HR, max. 1,000 units slash HR. Dose should be adjusted to maintain APTT of 50 to 70 seconds. Anticoagulation. Intermittent 4 injection. 8,000 to 10,000 units 4 initially, then 50 to 70 units slash KG, 5,000 to 10,000 units, Q4-6 HR. Continuous 4 infusion. 5,000 units 4 injection followed by continuous 4 infusion of 20,000 to 40,000 units slash 24 HR catheter patency. Tension of clot formation within venous and arterial catheters. Use 100 units slash ML, instill enough volume to fill lumen of catheter. Safety advice. Advice and warnings for the use of heparin, heparin sodium, during pregnancy. FDA pregnancy category C risk cannot be ruled out. That's all the information about heparin we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.